You're watching Indonesia this morning live from Jakarta. Well, taking part in social networking sites like Facebook and Twitter is the rave of the day. Well, watch out Facebook and Twitter as you're in for some competition. Now for the first time, a local-based social network called Koprol is entering the scene. It's offering facilities specifically catered to the lifestyle of Jakarta residents. To talk more about it, we have with us this morning one of Koprol's founders, Satya Witular. Satya, good morning. Thanks for having me. Now, what inspired you to create uh, your own social networking site? Actually, it's my friends. Uh, they have a software company called Sky8, and they wanted to do something uh, in the mobile industry. And we thought the social network uh, style is, is really taken off uh, that, that time. So we, so we actually developed from a very basic ID and see what people wanted. And when was this? Actually, uh, it's... Uh, People start recognizing it at around half a year ago, at February, mm -hmm. and they just added their friends and their friends. We haven't done any advertising yet, but we have around 6,000 6, members right now. Okay. And why Coprol? Why is it Coprol? <laughs> well, we just wanted a name that people would be confused about. No, actually Coprol <laughs> is from a Dutch word meaning head roll, you know, when you turn your body up, right. up front. But now kids use it as a term that means uh, moving from one place to another, uh -huh. sort of like what city people are doing right now, from one mall to a, a mall and from a campus to their house and just moving around on a daily basis. So a very short catchphrase that you use. To, yeah, to, just to, something catchy, hopefully. Yeah, to, to pretty much uh, signify uh, what, what this is all about. But what's so different, uh, this is what I'm trying to get at, with Coprol compared to Facebook and, and Twitter. Coprol is a local thing. So uh, we have similarities to Facebook and Twitter in terms of status updates, which actually every social network right. has right now. But we're about local. Lo we're about location. Uh, people can uh, review, make reviews at uh, local businesses like restaurants and shops, and ask, ask another, and find other people who happen to be nearby and ask them for tips about the specific area, if whether it be a neighborhood, building, or even specific restaurants. So if, say if I'm at a, a, a specific mall in, yeah. in Plaza Senayan, say for yeah. instance. And you can check into Coprol, you just say you're Plaza Senayan, and you immediately see... Specifically in, in one restaurant there. Even like in, in one the restaurant. third floor. Yeah, yeah even uh, in a specific restaurant in, right. in the third, third floor. You'll see other people who are there right then. Or at Plaza Senayan. At Plaza Senayan, or even that specific restaurant. Uh -huh. if, they, if they happen to you know, take a picture of their food or uh, typed in what they're doing, you can see what what they're doing right then so okay so it's very very localized but is it just specifically for Jakarta residents so far? it's designed for Jakarta because uh, it's, it's actually designed for big cities with lots of traffic jam where we tend to get stuck in one place and right. who knows we can get uh, we can find friends at the same place but mm -hmm. Uh, surprisingly, there are people in smaller cities uh, who are using Coprol. They they want uh, they want us to please add Sidoarjo, please add um, Ponorogo or something. So we're surprised that even the people in the smaller cities are accepting this. So this is a good thing. You you can you can expand later on then. We're very excited about it. Okay. So is this just a hobby of yours, or are you trying to follow Zuckerberg and Bistone? It started as, as a side project because it is a side project of a company called Sky8 and they make money from doing real software. Mm. This is something we do at the side but with, uh, with tremendous um, support and people getting excited about it, it became our main project. Now an online site called Website Outlook has estimated that your site is worth more than $20,000. Well, Are you tempted to sell off your ownership over No, it's, 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 it's actually... Uh, undervalued because we, we, we haven't opened our site yet. If we have op opened our site, it, uh, you know, estimates like that would go higher. Even be more than that. Yeah. Okay, people like to share and rant on social networking yes. sites, but what do you think about the current IT law that some believe restricts freedom of expression over the internet? Well, that's, uh, <laughs> that's one thing we're uh, concerned about. Uh, we want to encourage our uh, users to, you know, to write responsibly and just uh, we, we don't know how to help the members yet, but mm. hopefully they, they learn from the cases that are in the media. Okay. Sadi Vitular, uh, founders of Coprol, thank you very much. Good luck with you. Thank you. <laughs> and so far, Coprol.com has reached more than 60,000 members, as Satya said, is in currently in its testing stage. So look for more. And